guys. Hello. Guys. <laughs> Cut. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. If you've missed our first episode, we are Anna and Edward and this is our second part from our city break in Strasbourg. We walked along the river Isle that flows through the city, creating a picturesque backdrop for Strasbourg. Boat tours along the river offer visitors a unique perspective of the city architecture and landmarks. If navigating the city on a boat is not a suitable method for you, then Strasbourg is a bike-friendly city as well with many dedicated bike lanes. So renting a bike, it might be a great way to explore the city and its surroundings. We have mentioned in our previous episode that Colmar was called Le Petit Venice. Well, Strasbourg has a district called Le Petit France because of the half timber houses, the narrow streets and the canals. It's a charming place to stroll and explore and I believe the best place to capture a perfect moment in a photo will be having La Maison du Tanner in the background, obviously at the golden hour. I left you some pictures with that spot at the end of this video, so have a look and let us know what you think. This white sheet hanging on the window makes it all look so authentic, isn't it? Barrage Bourbon, it's a bridge and defensive work dating back to the 17th century and offers stunning views of the city. It was originally constructed as a defensive bridge and now serves as a pedestrian walkway. The barrage has 13 arches and is 120 meters in length. At night is illuminated by purple light that just makes it stand out from the distance.
write in the comments if you know what I'm mimicking here because to be honest I think it's an international sign Strasbourg is generally considered safe for tourists. However, in my opinion, this guy makes it look super safe. And after all, it's a very important destination that needs to have high security measures in place. We have enjoyed every single minute of these two Alsatian cities, and we have discovered a handful of cool people. Like, for example, a gentleman that he was riding his horse on the streets of Strasbourg, like nothing was out of ordinary. <laughs> This is the end of part 1 of this episode, stay with us for part 2 and you will discover a lot of great things. So stay with us and please subscribe to our channel. And one cappuccino. Hi guys, thank you for staying with us. And welcome to Belgium, or to be precise, welcome to Pairida Isa. Pairida Isa, it's a zoo and botanical garden located in Bruges. The name of this place has its origins from the Persian word paradise. This zoo is home to 7,000 animals, covering a surface of 65 hectares or 160 acres, and was first opened in 93. Me and Eddie, we have visited this place back in 2017 and we were amazed by all the diversity that we have discovered and even Forbes have considered this zoo the best zoo in 2022. So here we are back after six years and maybe you are wondering why. Well, you don't have to be a child to enjoy and discover new things. Plus, they have pandas. And pandas are my favorite animals. You see, I told you. You can buy the tickets directly from there or you can buy the tickets online from their website. I have added the link in the bio. The tickets were 94 euros, 84 for two adults plus 10 euros day parking. I have to tell you that the tickets are a bit more expensive over the weekend and public holidays. You must allocate a full day for the zoo as it's huge. And of course, you need to be prepared to do a lot of walking as well. Here we have seen a variety of birds that have just wowed us, like this little friend, the red legger Seriema, that was so curious about what Eddie was doing there. He has followed us all the way in that enclosure until we got out.
in the distance you can spot the American flamingos plus other birds that you haven't seen before. In this enclosure that looks like a mini jungle, we have spotted two beautiful western crowned pigeons and if you pay attention you will hear their song. Amazing, isn't it? This zoo will take you on different continents and not only because of the animals that are originating from there, but you will have a whole decor illustrating structures typical for that continent or areas from a specific continent. And this is just amazing. You can have a feel of Africa and Asia without traveling for hours and hours. This place has transformed so much from our last visit. Now you even have a hotel next to the animal enclosures. You can be so close to a black bear or a polar bear, penguins or sea lions or even nicer, you can be next to a big cat such as the Siberian tiger. You can find the prices for the hotel accommodation on their website. 
and all the benefits that you get with this booking. This zoo has five pandas, three of them you can find them right at the beginning of the tour and the other two giant pandas you must find them on the way. And oh, they have red pandas as well, but most of the times they are hiding in the trees. Uh, they forgot koalas as well, but most of the time they are sleeping. And kind of the same is with the slots that are very hard to spot. We have visited the zoo on a Sunday and yes, it was full, busy with children, adults of all ages and lots of happy faces. Along your journey, you will find some shops with tea and souvenirs and when the hunger will defeat you, then you can choose from around 5 or 6 restaurants available in different areas of the zoo. So please, make sure you get a map right from the entrance.
maybe after lunch, when you have your full bellies, it will be a bit difficult to get back to the track. And in this case, you can jump on a train tour until you feel a bit more energized to start walking again. Even if the place was very busy, the zoo is providing a feeling of relaxation. Your enthusiasm is high because you don't know what to expect next. And the best thing is that you will not be disappointed at all. In our last visit, we were able to touch the giraffes but it looks like now you can't do that anymore. I'm not sure if it's a temporary thing or it's a permanent thing, but it's a shame that you can't interact with them anymore. I must say that we have enjoyed again this place and it was like the first time and most probably we will return. Now it's your turn to let us know in the comments if you have a favorite zoo and maybe we will go and visit it. Thank you everyone for watching and please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Take care.